far. Severe storms and flooding rains soaking several states tonight. It is a weekend washout. It was absolutely unlike anything I've ever experienced before. I, I think we're going to see a significant number of casualties. Tonight, the largest volcano has been discovered. And I know what you're thinking. How could the largest volcano on Earth stay hidden? This might be hard to hear, but apparently we know next to nothing about our own planet. If we want to fully understand climate change, earthquakes and tsunamis, the history of life, and the evolution of our planet, we need to study the vast, largely unexplored area beneath the ocean floor. Here, rocks and sediment deposits act as a logbook for Earth's history, recording both gradual changes and sudden events over the past several million years. Scientists have expanded the frontiers of human knowledge by drilling core samples from each of the world's ocean basins. Their work is far from done. The new International Ocean Discovery Program, or IODP, is carrying this work forward with a focus on four critical research themes. There is no better place to study Earth's climate history than the ocean floor, where climate records reach back 10 times as far as the oldest ice cores. By understanding the past, we can more accurately predict the future and assess how the planet will respond to increased carbon emissions, warmer air and water, and more acidic oceans. Scientific drilling can not only help us survey life on, but also in the seafloor. By studying the communities of bacteria and other microbes surviving in this harsh environment, we can better understand how life might have begun and can learn to recognize the kinds of life we might find on other planets. Deep beneath the Earth's crust, the molten mantle has undergone dynamic changes over millions of years and is still evolving even today. A better understanding of these processes can teach us about the nature of plate tectonics, seafloor spreading and continental uplift. The Earth can also move suddenly often with disastrous results for human societies. Earthquakes, landslides, tsunamis. What causes these geohazards? With further study, we may yet be able to discern patterns and read the signals in advance. Extra warning could mean the difference between life and death. The ocean floor is a rich source of information for the worldwide scientific community, but accessing it is not easy. IODP relies on specialized vessels and equipment to recover samples from the deep. There's the Joydus Resolution, the US-based workhorse of the program. This flexible, adaptable vessel has been drilling samples and providing data for nearly 30 years. A thorough refit has set her up for decades of future service. The Chikyu, operated by Japan, is a deepwater drill ship purpose-built for scientific drilling. Her advanced capabilities offer the best chance for one day reaching the planet's mantle. And a consortium of European countries provides mission-specific platforms that can access areas off-limits to the other two vessels. For example, ice-bound seas or shallow waters. The latest innovation at IODP is the use of sub-seafloor observatories that can monitor crucial processes such as changes in temperature, pressure and fluid flow over various timescales. Many are capable of connecting to regional networks to serve data in real time. IODP generates vast amounts of new samples, data and experimental results. A network of facilities helps preserve this knowledge for future generations, making it openly accessible to the global scientific community. Repositories in the US, Japan and Germany store and curate cores and send samples all over the world upon request. Websites, newsletters and social media portals keep the public informed of the latest scientific discoveries, while specialized education programs train science teachers and instill passion for discovery in young minds across the globe. Represent our drill pipe, the drill into this like the ocean itself, 
The sea floor covers nearly three quarters of our planet. And today, more than ever, we need to discover all it has to tell us about our past and use these lessons to inform our future.